integration. Research infrastructure integration. Data integration. Services integration. So what is EPOS? EPOS uh, is a long-term integration plan. Air science research allows the understanding of the physical processes controlling earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, unrest episodes and tsunamis. EPOS is integrating existing research infrastructures and facilities. The key challenge is to open up the enormous wealth of available multidisciplinary data and promote cross-disciplinary science serving society. So EPOS is important because it is bringing together lots of data and information from across Europe on many different solid earth disciplines. RIDE is a database system within EPOS in which we have collected all the information to date to form an inventory of the nodes of EPOS. The EPOS idea requires supporting by an e-infrastructure. A key component of the e-infrastructure is the metadata. Metadata is used in several different ways and we have designed an architecture for metadata that has three clearly differentiated levels. We can integrate together different kinds of data sets and different kinds of software with the computer processing available to provide services to the end users of EPOS. If you take the example of the last eruption in Iceland at Eyjafjallajökull, we have seen the economic consequences of this event where the entire air traffic was completely uh, disrupted. An infrastructure like EPOS can really make a difference in this case, in the sense that we are able to analyze and understand the upcoming processes before a volcanic eruption. The aviation industry uh, definitely is interested because our networks are monitoring the activity in the volcanoes before an eruption starts. The Arctic area and the northern areas have a special dimension. It is because of important natural resources and their exploration, exploitation and management. will enable a step change in multidisciplinary scientific research and public outreach for earth sciences. EPOS supports the European Commission plans responding to the global challenge of data infrastructure and new services to science.